Hello and welcome to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, this is a Star Wars game developed by Respawn Entertainment uh, and published by EA Games. It was released in 2019 uh, and it is a combination Metroidvania Sekiro-like narrative action game. Uh, I played this back when it first came out and I really fell in love with it. It was one of the pipelines into my fandom of Star Wars as a whole. Um, at the time, I was uh, in the middle of watching Clone Wars, and I hadn't really fully gotten into the series as a whole at that point. But hearing about it, hearing about how the Respawn team, the people behind Titanfall, we're making a uh, Star Wars Sekiro-like. I knew I kind of had to get my hands on that and, and learn more about it. So, uh, yeah, I, I dove right in. And uh, I think I binged the game in, like, a week, maybe. And so with the sequel coming out, I thought, why not uh, replay the original? Just do a new game uh, and see what we could uh see what we could get done before before survivor launches in 11 days so uh as we get started uh we're going to be playing on jedi grandmaster this is the hardest difficulty this is the difficulty i played on originally and uh thankfully this game is not actually that difficult um especially compared to other souls likes and sekiro likes um i would say this is actually probably the easiest souls like i've played even on grandmaster and the reason for that is just uh cal the main character has a ton of options uh the game allows you to play really aggressively um you get a ton of force powers that affect how you approach combat and overall your maneuverability is just much higher than in most Souls likes. So even on Grandmaster, even with the parry timing meter here as low as it can be, you get a lot of leniency uh, in combat that just isn't afforded to you in most Souls games. So if you're interested in this sort of thing and think it looks cool, um, you can definitely give it a try on Grandmaster if you think you're up for it. So see, I have some save files started here already. Um, this one was the one that I did testing on yesterday just to make sure the settings were correct. Um, so we'll erase this one and the rest are just new game files that I, I did to clear out old autosaves. So let's see, overwrite the game file. Yeah, and we'll get started. So we'll be playing this game with a ultra wide mod. It supports ultra wide, but I wanted the cutscenes to also be an ultra wide. So uh, there might be some weird stuff happening on the edges of the screen sometimes. It's just a, a quirk of how ultra wide works. So I'm going to speak over this music, but uh, so we don't get copyright struck. But this song is uh, Sugaan Esena by The Who, H-U. They are, I believe, a Mongolian folk metal band. Uh, they're really cool. I've seen, I saw them live at Coachella. Um, if you're interested in hearing more music that sounds kind of like this, uh, look them up on Spotify because they got an album on there. I don't want to upset your rhythm, Cal, but the boss wants a word. Be good for us. Here he is, Chief. An error has been detected on line 10A. All our clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. The group <laughs> will double your pay for this shift. Why, Cal? Well, it's a score. That couldn't hurt. Huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Keep the work. This way. I'm right behind you. 
So the first thing you'll notice is that this game uses performance capture. Uh, all of the characters, alien and human I believe, are mo-capped and performance captured by real people. So there's a lot of craft that went into this game outside of just the like game design uh, in sort of like CG visuals, because uh, there were pretty extensive performance capture uh, sequences. So all of Cal's movements, all of the like background character movements and stuff, all of that's mo-capped, which is cool. And uh, the second thing you'll notice, obviously, is uh, this is Cameron Monaghan. He was a TV actor. Um, he was in shows like Gotham, where he played not the Joker. Uh, he was in Shameless, I believe, as well. Um, and interestingly enough, he is a friend of a friend of mine in real life. So I've mingled in some of the same circles as him. Uh, but he does not know how much of a Star Wars nerd I am. So <laughs> that's kind of amusing. Oh, Hoofy subscribed. He's been subscribed for three months. Thanks so much, Hoofy. So this game's really cool. It really gets the feel and the sound of Star Wars down really well, both visually and just in general. So that's fun. That gives us some background information already. Just going into the game, we don't know a lot about uh, where it takes place, when it takes place, who this character is, but we know now this has got to be Imperial Era because we saw the TIE Fighters before, and we know the Clone Wars were at least a few years ago. So this is a few years post Order 66 and the fall of the Republic. Can't spend money if you're dead. Them crazy riggers can't seem to understand that. <laughs> I don't think these tools are Up gonna here. make it through the shift. Uh, you say that every time. After you, kid. Then says, oh, wait, we got a cutscene. Fun fact, the TIE fighter noise is actually an elephant hey, roar. Separatist ship. I haven't seen the Luke or Hulk in ages. Yeah. Ages. Breaking her will be big money. All right, let's go. Ben says, speaking of Joker 2019 with Joaquin Phoenix, yay yeah or nay? Uh, no comment. I worked on that movie. Uh, Taffia says, good evening. Is this the start? I've never played Jedi. Yep, we just started. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Ladder's out, though. Gonna have to find another way. Yeah, no problem. I'll improvise. Get back this barge immediately. You are not approved, trash. You mean trash? It's not proof trash. <laughs> Kel's a fun character. He's he's got a real scrapper bantery mentality. Raf says, uh, "Not on Joker two. I haven't met Lady Gaga. I have not. I no longer work with Warner Brothers, so not working on Joker two. Sorry." There's no bad blood between us, I just, I'm not working on it. <laughs> Easy there. Come on. Just passing through. Careful, stabilizer's out. You don't come on us. I told you to replace the stabilizer. So you can see here where the, the uncharted elements sort of bleed into the game, right? We have climbing, we have walking, you know, like set piece design. Get 
Uh, this, that looks like it says something in Arabesh, but I can't read it. We got an R4 unit here. Ben says, uh, Star Wars easily takes place a few millennia after the common era, like a few thousand years. I wonder how English is still the dominant language and not evolved language. Uh, Star Wars takes place in the past, actually, and also, they're not speaking English. It. We're hearing English. There's a difference. That's the idea. I like the banter he has with, uh, with these characters. It's kind of fun. But yeah, uh, they are not speaking English. They're speaking Galactic Common. Which is not English, it's just translated for us as the viewer. And Star Wars takes place a long, long time ago. Sounds like scrap rats. Creepy. Just passing through, guys. I don't need to come out and say hi this time. I like how he says no need to come out this time. Like they came out last time. <laughs> Cal, I'll meet you at the clamps. Sounds good. Be there soon. Oh, it's so cinematic and ultra wide. It looks so good. That he's got a point. So, uh, also, you'll notice, uh, and this is just something I like to point out, if you've watched my Last of Us uh, Part 1 and 2 playthrough, you will recognize the voice of Kari Walgren as some of these additional characters. Uh, you'll also hear Steve Bloom at certain points in this game, so good old channel mainstays. Look, the ship cutter is here. There it goes. So the ship cutter is that big hey, laser. Yep, good looking out. So cool. It looks like the uh, scrappers are also piloting ATSTs for some reason. Is that what those are? I think that is the little chicken walkers. So, as much as I love Star Wars, uh, like ship designations and stuff, vehicle designations are not uh, my forte. It's not really the the part of the universe I'm into. So. Oh, look how cool this looks. Wah! There we go. Hurry, we gotta finish before they start cutting this wing. That's Steve Bloom. <laughs> So apparently they're going to cut this wing off, so we got to move quickly. Oh man, look how cool this looks. So that down there, I believe, is called the Iblis Maw? Ibdis Maw? Something like that? It's kind of like a Sarlacc pit, but it eats trash. I think we might have a lore entry on it. Cal, use the manual override lever below. Imagine just leaping for that. Ugh, terrifying. Got it. Your turn. Ugh. Hold on. All right. Clamp secured. Whoa. You okay? Still here. Ugh. Give me a break there, pal. Imagine how jacked you'd have to be. Done. All right. Hang Balls on. of steel. Done. Get out up here. Job's done. Fixed the clamp. Look at this. It's a Jedi fighter. What a score! It's a real scrapper's payday. I mean, this he's been here what? Four years? Five. <laughs> oh, okay. But down on a blaze of glory. Those Jedi. Real tragedy. Yeah, I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Real dangerous. Yeah, uh, I guess it's just our lucky day. Empire's gonna get a lot of good material out of it. Yeah, here we are, scrapping these ships from the war, just so they can turn around and make new ones. What a racket, huh? 
All of us risking our necks for the bosses. Good, hey, good point. The was better back here in the Republic, too. Hey, you really should watch what you say. Well, listen to me. Find us free like this? Could be your ticket off this soggy rock. What makes you think I want out of here? <laughs> Come on, Cal. You're a young guy. You don't end up like me. <sighs> Eventually, you gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. Oh no, the plasma cutter. They cut the wing. Whatever you say. Hey, we should get back down. You're not listening to me. What is that? Help him! Help him! <laughs> So we've learned this takes place five years after Order 66. So the Republic has fallen, and in its place, the Empire has risen. So this is set. Uh... Bro, you okay? No, I can't climb up. Bro, just hang on. That sent me. No, don't let go. I, I can't hold on! Bro! No! Oh. Ooh. You okay, bro? I I'm alright! Just pin down! Pilot's gone! I'll get us out of here! Just hang on! Watch out, Cal! Look out! So what I was gonna say is this takes place just a few years after uh, Bad Batch. You all right? Yeah. Okay, we gotta we gotta move. Come on. Hell yeah. happened? What was that back there? Was, it, was that you? Well, that, that was the force, wasn't it? Just forget what you saw, okay? Look, Please no, trust me. I've seen the I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. Bro, the bounties out on people I like know. you. I know. Yeah, we're ready. We need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, in one episode of Bad Batch, I actually go to Braca, which is the planet that this takes place on. This p part of the game, at least. So Raph says, I kind of want to go deeper into Star Wars. I've watched the original trilogy, but the Disney stuff keeps me out of it. Uh, I highly recommend getting into it. Uh, the Disney stuff, by and large, is the best Star Wars has ever been. The TV shows are very, very good. Um, and The Mandalorian might just be the best Star Wars thing ever. And or, uh, as well, it's very, very good. Um, to answer Ben's question, yeah, uh, I do know a lot of Star Wars war lore. I've read every single canon Star Wars novel and comic. I've seen all of the movies, watched all of the TV shows. I'm a big Star Wars fan. Though I only got into it relatively recently. Oh. It was sort of a pandemic project to go through the entire canon. So I ended up reading about like 50 books or something like that at the time.
Where is everyone? Raph asks, have you read the stuff that isn't canon anymore? I've read a few of the Legends books, but not all of them. Psychedelic, trippy. Oh man. This effect looks so cool. Look at the art design here too. Just incredible. Sought his master from planet Lothal, starting place of the Rebels show. Yeah, something's going on. Everybody up, identification ready. Move out and line up. Probably just another contraband inspection. Inquisitors. Ben says, I only say my day because you're in my age gap. I mean, I'm 30, so. Is this all a loop? Yes, second sister. We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. <sighs> Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Turn yourself in, or everyone present shall face summary execution. I think it's time someone came forward. Inquisitor, inquisitors will just kill you all anyway. <laughs> I, uh, I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. <laughs> and engineers became scrappers. The workers? They just started getting worked. Prof. We all know the truth. We're just too afraid to say it. To the Empire, we're all just expendable. Yes, you are. Uh, uh, no! No! Yes. Uh, Look at this, a lightsaber. I found the Jedi. Checking out the disturbance. Oh, that hurts. Hold it, don't move. How'd you get here? Easy now. Got a stowaway. Hey, you don't need to call this in. <laughs> this is TK-8190. Found you, intruder. So he had a lightsaber the whole time. It looks kind of messed up. Uh, kind of cool, though. Oh, look at that little pink R4. Hear that over the comm? Jedi? Stay sharp. It won't get 
past us. The traitor, blast him! Hit him already! I All can right. get him! Contact confirmed. Shoot to kill. You killed them all! There we go. We can make quick work of the stormtroopers. One way out. So this is where uh, Cal's scrapper background helps. He can climb all over things. off. I like how they characterize the stormtroopers with their silly little dialogue. Someone might be back there. Go get him. Oh, no. I can't do this by myself. <laughs> there we go. Took them out. Oh, I think we need to actually block because this is a tutorial. I think I do have to deal with you. <laughs> Alright. This game's got a really cheeky sense of humor. It really likes to poke fun at the stormtroopers. got good saber discipline too. Pulls it back in when he's not using it. Front. Stop the train. Something the Sith just don't have. They'll walk around with their sabers ignited the whole time. Oh, no. Need cover. Gotta move in between bursts. Now. Oh, well, <laughs> he just got iced by friendly fire. <laughs> see more of the uncharted like set piece design here with stuff like this this Whoa. is very much like the uncharted 2 train ride <laughs> only way is up yeah. 
so cool. <laughs> this game's got a great sense of scope. It really captures that, like, Star Wars grandiosity that I really like. So this is kind of what I meant when I said the game gets the Star Wars feel really well, right? Like all these corridors, all this music, the cues matching up so tightly together. In a lot of ways, this game really does feel like playing a Star Wars movie, which I feel like a lot of Star Wars games don't feel like. Doing my civic duty, killing some imps. Let's go. Train stopped? That's not good. Who stopped it? That's the question. Oh, this can't be good. so bad. Training after all. Who's your master, Padawan? Someone I killed, perhaps. Oh, she's what so if cool. I gave their life so that you might live. Her dialogue rocks. Oh no. My controller's dying for some reason. There's a rough spot for my controller to die. <laughs> to burn them to the ground. She's got a grudge. Okay, 
say shut that thing off and grab some seed. <laughs> Thanks for the help. But who are you people? My name is Sir Junder, and this is my captain, Priest Ritus. How you doing? Yeah, the man is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. So, who are you? Cal, Kestis. Who was that back there? An Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys you. How do you know so much? And why'd you help me? We track Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Brock. So we made our move. Oh, yeah? And what's the bounty on Jedi these days, anyway? That's gratitude for you. Look, I get it. <laughs> You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. And it's what's kept you alive. But this is about something bigger than just surviving. Like what? Like rebuilding the Jedi Order. Too. Anybody else? Oh, we're not good enough for you? The Jedi Council? They're gone. So I'm all you've got. Captain, set a course for Bagano. I really like Seer and Grease. In the meantime, try and relax. Seer's performance is really excellent. 